Hello, darlings! Today in the Philippines, we're exploring the Quiapo Market and its street food scene. We begin our path from the newly rebuilt Quinta Market and Fish Port, and we end the day with Holo Holo. Ready or not, let's munch! Thanks to Audible for sponsoring this video. Hey guys! Mommy and I are in Manila. The lights are coming on, the evening is getting darker. Night is still young. That is very young. It's 6.15. Oh, well, look at this! It's a sea grape! Heading towards Villabo Street, we pass by a parade of seafood. Vendors have set up tables and lined rows of squid, shrimp, and various fish. Oh, I saw lightning in the distance. They said there's a 90% chance of raining at 7 p.m. So we've got 45 good minutes-ish. It feels like the weekend. We have a lot of fresh produce, cell phone cases, dried fish as well. So much dried fish. You can really smell it. Even if most of it is all packaged, what is that? Egg inside, inside egg. That's natural? Oh, that's egg growing in the chicken? Yes. I've never seen that before. <laughs> oh, we have a cart here that sells purely just watermelon. Do you see that? That, that sky is incredible. Purple pink skies are surreal and beautiful, and the pending rain fills my body with adrenaline. It's a race against the weather. Brooms, more dried fish. That must be chicharron. 35 pesos for one. Wow. Good. <laughs> Is there a bad one? There's <laughs> one for you. And one for me. Wow, they're really rolled up. It smells just a little bit fried. Wow. <laughs> That is hardcore crunchy. It makes you thirsty too. <laughs> I like it because it doesn't taste like too oily or anything. It does taste savory. It feels light. Can you imagine how busy it is on the weekend here? I mean, it's just a weekday and it's like packed. As we inch closer to the Catholic Church, a gentleman rides a bike attached to a street food stall that sells fries. So much to look at and eat. Yes, light. Oh, wow, look at how that glows. Beautiful. Ooh, I'm getting that smell. Mm. The squid's exterior is a textured white, while the interior is a light to medium brown. We dip the entire stick into a tall cylinder filled with sauce, packed with chopped red onion and bird's eye chili. Mamio, first bite. I'm going to be solo on this one. That is crispy on the edges. Lots of flavor. Quite spicy and also salty. It's a very light snack. All right, it feels like a beer kind of alcohol food. It has a very thick flavor. There is like this um, smokiness to it. After all, it has been cooked right over this coal. Although it looks very thin, it's quite chewy, like a beef jerky texture. So it's like squid jerky. Up next, we try quick quick deep-fried boiled quail eggs. Each egg is covered in cornstarch, flour, salt, and pepper. The orange color comes from food coloring, or anato powder. All right, I was recommended to get the vinegar sauce, and then the sweet one. Just get a little bit, let's not be too ambitious. A little bit at a time. We also don't want to get too much and waste anything. How is it? Can you feel the vinegar? Definitely feel the egg in that, yes. Some parts of the outside, it's a little bit more crunchy and slightly tough. The color is uh, very orange, but it doesn't taste orange. So the sauce makes it bold though. I'm gonna put the spicy sauce this time. I wanna really feel the spiciness. It's not too spicy. Uh, okay. Next round, let's try isao, chicken intestines. Each stick is five peso. Oh, he dips the chicken intestine in the batter completely and then dunks the whole thing into the oil. Yep. Oh, I felt uh, rain. It is almost seven. Some vendors are fleeing the scene, others are bringing out the umbrellas. We got the umbrella. Yay, kuya! <laughs> wow, look at how red that sausage is. Pre-fried bites await for those on the go. 
our vendor fries them by dunking them into oil, but isao can also be grilled. When they cling to each other, he pulls them apart. While waiting for the fresh batch, lightning continues to strike. The way the intestine is skewered reminds me of the hospital snake symbol. Actually, the rod of Asclepius. Very curvy. I think if we dip it, it'll cool it down faster. The vinegar is very popular. It's not as deep right now. I'm gonna do vinegar and some of this sweet sauce. Oh, concrete. Very concrete. Sauce makes it very spicy, spicier than the previous stall. The crunchiness is like tempura. As for the intestine, it's a little bit chewy. It's likable. Uh, some people, if you tell them this is chicken intestine, they'll be like, oh no, like, that's gross. But you know, this is like, if you don't know what it is, especially if you're someone who's shy to try different kinds of food, if you don't know what it is, you try it, you're gonna like it because it's soft, it's a little bit chewy though, and it's crunchy on the outside. Quite easy to eat. It's officially raining. More vendors pack up and call it a day. Others roll their carts away. If you got a shopping list, now's the time to speed things up. In the meantime, Mamiya has found a toy. So random. I was not expecting her to get this bouncy bubble ball. And of course, I can't let her party alone, so I make my contribution. Bounce, 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 bounce. <laughs> and look at the outside. Lots of little, like, pimple-ish. And then at one side, there's like this bug. What happens if you like poke a hole? Is it gonna pop like a balloon or...? Yeah, I think so. Just a few steps away is the Kyapo Church, the official name being Minor Basilica of the Black Nazarene. According to the Catholic News Agency, during the day it holds continuous masses and healing services. During the night, the church shelters poor homeless people. The bell rang because it just turned 7 p.m. On to fried tofu. I've had tofu many times before. It's part of my childhood, but it's my first time having it like this. Before we dig in the tofu, I just want to say the chicken intestine lingers in my mouth. There's a little bit of a bitterness and a little bit gamey as well. Thank you. I'm noticing a theme here. After we get something fried, we always dip it in something. Sour. Yeah, sweet, sour, spicy. spicy sour. It's hot, right? Uh, you like it? Mm. Wow, it's hot. How did you eat that? <laughs> how, how did you eat that? Hot. Huh. It's a familiar flavor. Mm -hmm. Alright, so a lot of vendors have closed down and it's raining more and more. So we are going to leave Quinta Market and then head indoors for Halo Halo, closer to our hotel. I hope you guys enjoy this tour of this place and let's go, let's go get some uh, ice. Let's get icy. Yay. Yay, go like this to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of a pingsu, but Filipino version. This one, it has flan on it. And what is the white one? Is that coconut? Look like a noodle, but it's a coconut. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. My teeth are sensitive, but it's tasty. It tastes milky. Yeah, it has banana in them. There is a sweet sauce on the ice. This is very time sensitive. As you can see, it's pretty melted already. The Halo Halo is made of shaved ice, condensed milk, red bean, white bean, ube halaya, jelly, jackfruit, leche flan, banana, and a scoop of ube ice cream. So many ingredients. It's a party. Now this is kind of like a peeping pop situation where it's like, do you want to eat the ingredients one at a time or do you want to mix it all up? I always like um, separate. <laughs> yeah, I like to separate too. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit crispy, but I think the humidity got to it, so it made it more quiet. <laughs> it's a pirouette. It's French style. The center of the ice is pretty hard. Ooh. Ooh, ah. The colors are so vibrant. Mm -hmm. uh, this was a gift from Unicorn Heaven, right? Yeah, I prefer the Pinoy Halo Halo because it's just like so much more texture and different kinds of flavor. And it has the ube ice cream. I want to learn how to make that at home. Because in America, I've never come across an ice cream like that. I love the flavor of condensed milk. I do have a weak spot for that. My knees go even weaker for the ube ice cream. This is so needed and so appreciated on a hot day like this. Ooh, I'm in love with this pink and purple color combo. Hey, it reminds me of the sky from earlier. 
We've been eating all day. We filmed three food videos, two market videos, and a tour around Chinatown. And we were so full. But look at how easily we're eating this. It was so refreshing. Happy ending. What a happy ending. We have a happy ending. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. bye. Thanks again to Audible for sponsoring this video. Audible has an unmatched selection of audiobooks, original audio shows, news, and comedy. You can listen to Audible on the go while shopping, going to the gym, or traveling around the world. Anytime, anywhere, and on any device. Currently, I'm listening to The Sweet Life in Paris and Crazy Rich Asians. As you might guess, I especially love audiobooks on food, culture, and travel. One of the great things about Audible is it's super portable. It's a fun and educational way to make bus rides and flights feel shorter. Go to audible.com slash missmina or text missmina to 500-500 and start listening with an exclusive 30-day free trial. One free audiobook of your choice and two Audible originals absolutely free. I put the link in the description box. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks to Antic Studios for filming us in Manila. Quinta Market was established in 1851 during the Spanish colonial period, which means this market is 168 years old at the time we filmed this video. Here are some images of Quinta Market from 1911. The newer building was reconstructed in 2017. Meow! 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 Lots and lots of produce. Wow, it's hot. Ooh. Wow, I don't mind some rain. I mean, for filming, it's not so good, but it's, I've been sweating all day. Please, just give me a shower, you know? I could just take it. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> wow, they're really holding hands. <laughs>